Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to start another reading vlog. This is a weird angle and the lighting's really bad, but I am right by the window. It is just January, it's snowing. It's just crappy out. Um, but I've already read two books since I ended the last vlog, which was like two days ago. They're both pretty short, but one of them is like already at the top, one of my favorites of the year, and it's a really weird one. Um, but first I want to talk about Galatea by Madeline Miller. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but this is a retelling of the Pygmalion myth. And I read Pygmalion and we watched My Fair Lady in high school and I really hated My Fair Lady and I don't remember liking Pygmalion either, but I really like this. It's like less than 60 pages. It's written very well. It's Madeline Miller. Um, but she really like packs a punch in just these little bit of pages and it's about Galatea who is a sculpture that a man like makes and makes her perfect and then he he like prays to the gods or whatever and she comes to life but he's a piece of shit <laughs> um, in this book he's like abusive and just uses her and it's really frustrating but um, I really wanted to read this, but again, it's like 50 pages, so I got it from the library, and I'm really glad they had it because I didn't want to just like buy this really little one for full price. And then one that I am like ranking at one like close to the top of my favorites list. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I am keeping a tier ranking as I go throughout the year on my reading spreadsheet of like what's my favorite. So. I think I'm putting this at like second place for right now out of like the six or seven books that I've read for 2023. That's Raptor Red by Robert T. Backer. Bacher? I'm pretty sure it's Bacher. Um, and I listened to the audiobook of this. I heard uh, Kelsey from Slime and Slashers and Katrina from Katrina Brown talking about this book. And it is a story from the perspective of, Velo of a velociraptor like 120 million years ago in Utah, prehistoric Utah. And I was not expecting it to be like emotional. Uh, and basically the raptor has lost her mate and she's on this quest, <laughs> migration, um, to, to find a mate, to have babies, to survive, you know, natural disasters and weather and climate and all kinds of stuff. Um, and the audiobook has music and sound effects and it was a lot of fun. Like it was so much fun and I was actually like, I mean, I don't know, maybe I was just really tired or I'm about to start my period, but it was emotional and I really liked it. Like it was a lot of fun. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it was a lot of fun. So when I grabbed this from the library, I also grabbed a couple other books um, I grabbed Loot by Jennifer Thorne. This was one that we were thinking about for Stacks of Strange, but we picked something else. I'm unsure of this because I think it's adult, but it looks mid, or not middle grade, it looks young adult, so I don't know. Um, but it's about every seven years, seven people die. Um, and I think they're on an island and they we're following a new girl, or Nina, who is new to the island. And I think they're like getting married off to men. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. Like read the first however many pages, see how it goes. The next book I grabbed, sorry for the glare, is A History of Fear by Luke Dumas. The sun sounds really good. Um, it is about Grayson Hale, who is an infamous murderer in Scotland. He confessed to killing his classmate, um, claiming the devil made him do it. And then when he, so he gets arrested and then he's found hanged in his cell and officers uncover a handwritten manuscript that promises to answer the question that's haunted the nation for years. Was Hale a lunatic or had he been telling the truth all along? He says that he commits the devils after him, so it sounds really good. I am unsure of what time period we are in, though. Like, is this present day? Oh, we're, we're quoting Dante Alighieri already, so we're that's promising. I don't know. I'll have to give it a go and see. Um, this sounds like right up my alley though. Uh, I'm still in a fantasy mood, don't worry. I am still reading A Storm of Swords and these fantasy books are just gonna take me a long time. Um, so that's just what it is. And I need, 
I'm really working and focusing on not worrying about like hurrying and getting um, through books as fast as possible. Ooh, this has been a really long update so far, but one more thing. I am on page 556 of A Storm of Swords. Oh, and I'm reading Winter Set Hollow for Horror in 24. I'm like 30 something percent into this and the, I don't think I like it. Um, the pacing, uh, it, I don't know. I don't know. It might just be the mood I'm in. I like the idea of it. It's definitely, I think it's definitely going to get gory and violent, but it took this long for like something exciting to really happen. I think this really could have been like a gruesome pack a punch novella, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. I just remember like yesterday or the day before I was reading it and I felt like I had read so much of it and I checked the percentage, it was like 20%. And I was like, I thought I was like halfway done. <laughs> um, what do you need? I am needed, so that's it for the check-in and I will share more reading updates later. All right, I've got a bit of a reading update. Um, since I last updated, I've read a few chapters of A Storm of Swords. I don't know what else I can really say about this, except for this is an amazing book. I love this series. I'm loving my reread. It is just so, it's so good. Yeah, it's just so good. <laughs> I just, like, even when I know when things are going to happen, I just get so like anxious and yeah it's just so good i finished winter set hollow our discussions tomorrow i'm a little worried about it because i think i'm the only one who finished it and or like some people weren't even interested in it or dnf'd it which is fine but i didn't like it <laughs> so i don't know how our discussion is gonna go it's probably gonna be fairly quick the writing was good there were definitely some beautiful passages and descriptions and I just think it could have been a really good extreme horror novella like slasher type thing and it could have like packed more of a punch. I was, the pacing was off. I was kind of bored and it just wasn't for me. I wouldn't like not recommend it to people. Like if you're interested, I think you should try it. It just wasn't for me. And it might just be the mood I'm in with like my reading mood and wanting to read other things, but I don't know. I know I'm not the only person who doesn't like it, but there are a lot of people who really like this book. And I think it has a high rating on Goodreads too. So I still recommend giving it a go, but it just wasn't for me. Let's see our snow day uh, activity. <laughs> he was supposed to be at school today, but of course snow day and it's not even that bad out it's warming up things are melting already so i had to i have to keep him busy all day instead of doing the big long to-do list that i had so that kind of sucks but it is what it is and we've we've done it all we've done our days of the week <laughs> we've done our play-doh we've done our i don't even we've been outside we've been just everything we've done everything we've read books we played cars what i just everything i mean even look even the dog is tired yeah that's my update for now i guess oh well like so i like to listen to things a lot like my airpods i usually am always doing like an audiobook but more than likely a podcast and when my insomnia kicks in uh, i usually am listening like i re-listen to podcasts i really listen to uh, books and a lot of the times i'm re-listening to harry potter by stephen fry simply because i know i'm not gonna like have to pay attention and like hopefully it'll help me like just fall asleep and they're available on hoopla so they're free and i get like 20 downloads a month or something crazy so usually i do that but i am actually re-listening to gideon the ninth now and like 
I just, I fucking love that book so much. But I think that's it for my reading update. Hopefully the rest of the day goes smoothly. And hopefully uh, we don't get more snow because I need my day off tomorrow. One, two. Close out the vlog at my very messy desk that's just stacked with books. But let's talk about what I read this week, if I can remember. I finally hit over 900 pages in A Storm of Swords. I really hope to finish this by the end of January. So I've got like 200 pages left. Um, I'm loving it, like I said earlier. I finished Winterset Hollow for Horror in 24. It, big disappointment. Um, and is that it? Oh, A History of Fear. I did give that a shot that I spoke about in another clip that I got from the library. I started reading it physically, then I switched to the audiobook, and I'm just like not in the mood for it right now. And then I did start reading The Angel Maker by Alex North, and this is his third book. And this is about um, a young woman. Her brother is killed by a serial killer when she's a teenager, and now it's gonna like go to the future and I don't know if like the serial killer is back or what but the first chapter and the prologue were very promising so I'm really excited to continue on with that it comes out I think the last Tuesday in February which is the maybe that is the 28th I'm not sure but it does come out the end of February and I will report back of course but so far it, it might be just what I need right now um, and yeah so that's it for this vlog. Leave all the comments below what you've been reading, if you've read any of these books, even though I, I didn't read much. Um, these are weekly reading vlogs, but I feel like I'm barely reading anything. So well, hopefully that'll change once the weather gets nicer and I feel less depressed about the nastiness of winter.